Hello guys, here in Austria we have progressed pretty far, our military is a bit stronger, we are developing other things, we have uh, you know, a bit more stuff, lots of toys in the, uh, in the pen, we have uh, progressed our research very very far, especially down here we've learned about a lot of things, but now is the time to embrace monarchism, we are very close, 35%, it is the uh, majority um, supported thing, uh, ideology in our country, but we need to embrace it. So we're going to go here. This will decrease my stability by 10, but monarchists will be over 50% of the country, which is quite something. We're also saving up because we want to end free trade. We want to go to an export focus and save some of our resources. Oh yes, no longer do I need to uh, import any of these other items. It's a shame about chromium, but I'm sure we've got a factory for that at some point. I could build it, but I see that as wasting space, really. But that will really, really seriously help our output now that we have all of these extra resources. Yes. So much extra stuff to uh, help out with our fine nation of Austria. So I have been uh, building an army, I've been naming my divisions, we have Arnold's Angels, the Salzburg Soldiers, the Vienna Vikings, the Wells Warriors, the Adolf Memorial Squad, we have the Linz Line Infantry, the Habsburg Royal Militia, we have the Wien Wanners, we have the Klagenfurt Führers, we have the Graz Grenaders, we have the Innsbruck Bucks, and we have another one to name. I'm not sure I'm going to name it, let's find somewhere and try to think of something. But in future, um, for after this episode, I will see this episode's uh, comments before the next one is recorded, most likely. So if you if you want to uh, recommend names based on Austrian uh, the Austrian world, go ahead. Now these guys, we're going to be calling them the uh, the uh, Vardus Invaders. Vados Invaders. Very good. How are we doing with guns? We got some new guns, we got some old guns. Board equipment's doing well. I've edited uh, the templates. We're now, whoops. We're now a bit stronger here, which is all, all very good. We have these guys, you know, trying to get some uh, soft attack, hard attack, defense, breakthrough sort of nonsense going on there. Oh, terrific. Better cannons. Let's improve them further. Absolutely. I had my resources? No. Well, wow, good. Let us uh, increase. Uh, let's do another two of these divisions. Which I'm sure the comment section will get to name next episode. Well, you, do, you name them in the comment section. The two I like most, I'll, I'll name. As provided I even get two comments, I <laughs> this video might even only get one view, and that might be me. Who knows what sort of trickery YouTube will be up to. Maybe they'll block my video. Who knows? So we are part of the EU, which uh, is a threat. We need to we need to not be part of that. We need to kill the EU before some twat starts cooperating it. Wait, 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 who's this fucker? That's not the previous ruler of France. Who's this? L.A. Juppé? Eh? Who's this guy? He's not the, uh, the, the, the fellow with the big forehead who won the election? Who is this? Who is it? Ah. Ah. United Union, yet yeah, they can fuck off. Frexit. Yes, yes. Le Pen's ambition. But they did not go that way. They went this way. The European dream. Oh, yes. I mean, if you think of it this way, if you were able to unify all of the European cultures under one trade union, a military, they had everyone cooperating, maybe it should be good. 
But after thousands of years of conflicts uniting Europeans under one banner, if, you know, separate countries but one union, uniting them is going to be hard. So the last thing you do if you're trying to unite Europeans is invite millions of non-Europeans. Why did you do that? Surely it doesn't make sense, right? The, the whole point of unifying Europe is unity. You don't increase unity by importing more people to unify. See, unifying two things is easier than unifying ten things. And unifying ten things is easier than unifying one hundred things. So, for example, you have the unification of Spain. You have the Castilians, you have the Galicians, you have the Basque, you have the Catalans, you have the Andalusians. That's a lot of people to unite. Then you take France, the unification of the Occitans, the uh, Parisians, the Normans, the Bretons. That's a lot of people to unite. Then you try to unite all of these people with all of these people? To create some sort of French-Spanish union? You know, that's, it's pretty hard to get all these people to unify. So then you start bringing in the unified Germans. The unified Belgians, unified Netherlands, the unified Czechs, who just recently broke up from a union, the, uni the unified Poles, and you try to unify them as the European Union. That's a very big task, as I have just shown you. The unification of Italy was a big task. It's still not even unified. You have these guys holding it out. What is this? Empowering of the monarch! It is Karl. Karl II. On Habsburg. He looks very, uh, very sleepy in his picture. He, he's actually a, uh, like a game show host. He works in television. I was reading up on this guy. He has property. He has investments. But most of his, uh, his actual job, he is a, he's a guy who works on television. But anyway, these guys did something. They're part of the Swiss Protection League, their own faction. Very good. That means they're not going to join uh, them. I am not in a faction, but I am part of the Habsburg Empire now. That is my nation. We are the Habsburg Empire. We're not Austria. We are the Habsburg Empire. Which is terrific, really. But we should help it by getting some of that cranium. I want it. I want it bad. And we'll continue to increase our military as we see fit. I can create a few more of these guys. Let's build. That'll be 15, 16, 17, 18. Very low on manpower now, so we should uh, we should look into that. Ah! We're no longer neutral. But yes, we are now the monarchist faction. And obviously, we want to get manpower. So we're not going to uh, not going to interfere with anybody else's. We're not going to hack anybody's elections just yet. We're not going to we're not going to to, uh, to hack anyone's elections now, are we? Uh, are we, Putin? <laughs> have you seen the uh, have you seen the news recently with this whole uh, Russia hacked the election? It sounds out the only whoa she's f oh my oh my. God, what the fuck is this? Where's Donald? No! This is what happens when you ignore it for so long. Anyway, the only uh, the only evidence they can find of any Russian collusion is her selling the Russian uranium. Apparently there was some sort of bribe involved under Obama's watch. And then we ended up... S uh, the US, I shouldn't say we. I'm not a US citizen. The US ended up selling uranium to Russia and... As far as, uh, as far as, uh, you know, interfering in an election goes, I don't really think it interferes, but it's the closest thing to evidence they have. Fucking hell, Clinton won. When's the, when's the invasion of Syria happening? Is it not gonna happen? Was the invasion of Syria fake news? I remember watching an interview that, uh, Clinton said we are going to be at they, she said we, she was talking to the US people and not me, or you, if you're not a US citizen. She said, we are going to be at war with Iran. She said that. 
So I want to run to know that we will be at war. Something, something to that effect. Ah. Oh, that's... That's shit. Yay! Habsburg Empire leaves the European Union. I am so happy. Because now I get more points. And I don't think I lose the Italian factories we, we gained. Wait. No. No, I still have the Italian factories. So thank you, Italy, for your investment into my nation. I will uh, I'll appreciate it for the rest of my life. But for now, we have to we have to go for war with the, Aus um, the Swiss. Their little uh, protection league is a bit of bullshit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Invite Austria. He wants to invite me to his faction. Which means he would be the leader and I'd be the junior partner. Who else can you invite to this? Invite Liechtenstein. Ah. He can invite Liechtenstein. We need to invade Liechtenstein while we are part of the Swiss Defensive League. Then we will leave the faction. 235 days. Lovely. Where's the uh, Vadas invaders? You guys, Vadas invaders, join here. We're going to give the command to uh, Mustache Man, Christian Reimer. Christian Reimer looks like a man who can invade a country very, very successfully. We're going to stick him over on the border. We're going to give him the complex task of, very complex indeed, of invading into, uh, yes, invading into, uh, into Vados. We're going to set you to do it aggressively and, you know, we'll just have fun with that, Christian. We're going to, uh, redo your color because, you know, you're invading a blue nation. We're going to make you blue. A dark blue. No, 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 no. I said the dark blue. Is that none of this nonsense? Christian, you must behave yourself or I will rip off your moustache. It is quite simple. Ah, yes. Nine... Nine... Nine ninety-five. Nine nine five. I was born in 1995. This is a sign from the gods. That's our Habsburg Empire. And it is an empire. Is legitimate. Um, I hope they don't invite those other fuckers by the time I get involved, because otherwise I have to leave and just fight them anyway. The Swiss Protection League. He thinks he's going to have a Swiss Protection League called the Swiss Protection League and invite me as a junior partner. Fuck this guy. What's this? Remove natural spirit. The Euro. Yes. Fuck the Euro. We will have Habsburg coins. With Carl's beautiful face infused on the front. And the Habsburg sigil on the other side. Where is the royal emblem though? It's got the royal flag, but not the royal emblem. So now I guess a, uh, I get a fair few points. We, we, can, we can spare. But before we go to war with any major countries, we need to sort of grow a bit more. Slowly. So what, do we go to war with, with Italy straight away and try to take over our rightful land or do we go after someone like Slovenia to just grow a little bit more a little bit more power I think we do both boost party popularity will cost me I know, half a monarch point I'm going to call it a monarch point and we'll slowly support monarchism in Italy as well as Slovenia it was rightful Austrian land. Yes. Sarah Miro. Miro's a cool name. Um Yes. My <laughs> How is my how is my Austrian accent going with this campaign? I I'm honestly taking the piss, but I I I, I can't I cannot I cannot stop doing it. But I just it's a bit of fun, really, but hey, we got some more manpower now, so uh, 
Whatever, we need to seriously save up and get more manpower. Maybe after we take these factories, we'll just chill out for a bit and save up. But whoa, 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 what do we want? We want better guns? Sure, let's get better guns. Of course. And also, if you are in the comments section, be sure to tell me what you think of me, uh, the way I intend to record this series, which is, you know, cutting parts out. Like, I cut out a good few hours worth. Major fascist rally. Not alright, moving on. I think we're very securely monarchist here. The fascists can, can piss about and cry, but honestly, fuck them. Um... Yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think of the way I've chosen to record this, in which I have cut out a lot of content after this episode, which is going to end pretty shortly. I'm going to be away for a, a few hundred days until we get the reason to attack Vador's. But I think this episode will go until we are invited into this here faction with the, um... Where's the Swiss? Which we'll use temporarily. Unless they decide to invite Lichtenstein, in which case I will not be happy. Because we can, we can exploit the fact that they're guaranteeing them, and, I mean, we can exploit the fact that we're in a faction with them by attacking the people they guarantee. Is what I am trying to say. <laughs> if, if that came across at all, I'm not entirely sure. Lichtenstein, where is your king? They have a king, he is... He's a man who married an African woman. Uh, I can't remember what he looks like, but it's definitely not this man. Definitely not. Our resource is doing still just a Cronium, which is only for battle tanks. It was, we've built half the tank. We've built over half the tanks we require, because we require 100. And yeah, guns being upgraded. we got artillery being upgraded. we got support equipment. We got everything we need. Except for more factories. Aluminium factories. We... Wait, 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 wait. Can we see what they're doing next? Yes. We accept. We join the Swiss Protection League, which means they can no longer stop me from attacking these bastards right here. Very good. Let's select what we want next. I want to go for these rare materials. Let's get those tanks building a bit faster. Then I want to save for manpower. And let's just see where we are getting so far with you. You are just three percent for the House of Savoy. Uh, yours are a bit more shit, but that'll do for this episode. Thank you for watching. When we come back, we'll be preparing to invade Vados with the Vados invaders, led by Christian Reimer. I'll see you guys next episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.